What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Garrett and today is update day. We have so many things to go over and of course this new update brought the brand new grappling gun. Now if you guys have not seen this, I have a whole video showcasing this awesome gun. But in this specific video, like we did last time where we showcased the secret cave in Tomato Town. I'll show you guys right now. Um, I showed this before and it, it, it went viral. It went so far like, dude, I couldn't believe it. I showcased that cave over there. If you guys have not seen that video, it has over a million views. And today, we have another video showcasing new changes brought with the update and secrets you may not know about. So without further ado, let's get right to this video. Now, in my inventory, you will see something you may not be used to seeing. Blue dual pistols. Now, these dual pistols are brand new. They've gone ahead and changed the color of dual pistols to reflect a blue and epic rarity only. So blue and purple. There's no longer a legend legendary dual pistols now not only that i don't know well i i do know i i'm pretty sure this is a mistake you can now buy bandages from a vending machine but when you buy the bandages they're still common and you only get one so this has to be a mistake right like this can't be right because it's 225 wood for one bandage this let me this must be like an a super rare bandage this better heal me to like 100 percent health let me see let me do some damage to myself here all right, let's use this bandage. I hope we get 100 health. That would be awesome. No, a, literally a normal bandage. I guess we found a bug. It's a pretty big bug. It's They can easily fix it though, so that's not a huge issue. So what are we showing off today? Now, if you guys have not had the opportunity to go and explore the map, there are some huge changes to Fortnite Battle Royale. Of course, this grappling gun being one of them. And as you guys know, there's a way you can get max height by using this method right here. You go ahead and use a bouncer and then you go super high, right? But with the new grappling gun, I've gone ahead and discovered something new. Check this out. You go ahead and use a bouncer, put the bouncer down, grappling gun to the jump pad, and you get max height. Pretty cool. Gonna do that again, just in case you missed it. It was pretty quick. Just in case you don't have time to do all this, you just wanna go ahead, bounce, boom, boom, boom. There you go, dudes, max height. Now, this is what we are talking about today. The brand new changes added to Fortnite Battle Royale which is Dusty Diner. This Dusty Diner isn't the only thing that's been changed with Fortnite. As you guys may or may not know, well, the revolver has been removed from Fortnite. Now I know how you're gonna, I know how you're gonna take it. That may be some very sad news to you or some great news, whichever way you take it. There's also some additional item changes. We know about the grappler already, but do you guys know about this? C4 is now epic. That's right. We now have C4 that is epic. It is purple grade. The damage on it, I don't believe has changed. It just changed its color. On top of that, boogie bombs now stack in the variance of two instead of one in your inventory. And not only that, we also can now carry three big shields in our inventory at one given time. This has been done to go ahead and combat the issue that people were having when it comes to whether or not you take uh, two bigs or one slot. And now we have that answer. Moving forward, the semi-auto sniper rifle is now uncommon and blue, I believe. It's a little weird to see something that used to be epic and legendary, now just a blue or a green item. But that's the new Fortnite update, dudes. It's just, that's it, dude. It's, I don't know. I think it's weird, but hey, you're going to see a lot more semi-auto sniper rifles rolling around in town. Next up, we got the Porta Forts, now of blue variant. The colors have simply been changed but the port of forts design is still the same nothing's really changed there if you guys didn't know this you can actually throw a port of fort within a port of fort watch this throw a port of fort there and if i were to throw a port of fort again it would just destroy the old port of fort i don't know if you knew that but it's pretty cool next up we got the silenced pistol now in blue an epic rarity no longer a legendary silenced pistol on top of that we no longer have the revolver which i mentioned earlier and and we no longer have an uncommon silence pistol. A lot of uncommon items have been changed around, but that's enough of the items. I think you guys have seen most of them. Let's jump into the Dusty Diner. Now, this is only one of many map changes that's come to Fortnite Battle Royale. And of course, in the comment section, I want to hear what you guys think about this addition and change. Now, in the parking lot, we have one chest, a pretty good spot to loot. And this place is filled to the brim 
with loot, dude. So on the top, we have a shotgun still. Of course, loot can be found on top of these buildings still. Ignore this golf cart as it's only here during playground mode and not there during the actual game. On top of all the roofs, there are loot. So we have another shotgun there. In the middle between two, the, I guess, depots, we have loot and a chest. Now over here, as you guys can see, this is like a merch store. You can go on in and they have a bunch of stuff for sale. Some of it may be clues to season six. You never know. I don't even know what this stuff is, to be honest. A lot of it's just like little magazines. We got some merch over here, Dusty Diner. And of course, they're capitalizing on the meteorite or comment that went ahead and dropped into Dusty Divot. Over here, we have another little back area with another chest behind this wall right here. Okay, it sounds like the chest was here, but it's actually up here, it sounds like. I don't want to destroy that wall. So it sounds like it's in here somewhere. There it is. Okay, let's go ahead. Leaving this little, I guess, merch store. Moving forward, we have the, what was the, I guess, the construction of this building um it's coming to i guess be done soon not exactly sure let's go ahead and fix that wall this is the kitchen looks like a lot of loot another chest it seems like there's about six or seven chests here which is really great so in the middle you have a lot of materials as you guys can see every single one of these benches is wood i believe each one gives you two and then each one of these metal chairs gives you one wood and the reason for this dudes they've gone ahead and eliminated the wooden pallets that used to be here and to go ahead and replace these wooden pallets they need to have gone ahead and replaced it with something and they've gone ahead and replaced it with the uh benches now there are some wooden pallets you can see right here and this is supposed to be some kind of uh i guess display of like hey here's a wooden pallet i'm not exactly sure and then moving on over here we have more little disclaimers of like hey this is what was here and then we have different parts of the meteor that you guys loved in this season and of course that came crashing down with the visitor over here is like a little Little office with another chest flowing of course heavy shotgun looking ooh so beautiful and continuing and we have a little container here and of course over time a lot of these things will disappear like this and probably that i'm assuming those things will be removed once this diner gets finished of course this is the door that the visitor broke out of to go ahead and cause havoc in our lovely world but the love of the dusty diner does not end here you can go ahead and continue your tour of the dusty diner by going through this door as you guys see the binoculars you can see it has like a little meteor on it you're gonna go ahead and continue your tour right down up these steps and up these steps again with the little binoculars and now this has become like a viewing area for the meteor landing spot it showcases meteor coming in and it showcased it being like hot and what happened to it we built around it and then the door so this is what the game has i guess turned our lovely dusty divot into it's now dusty diner which is great if you guys notice it's not actually a marked location it's its own spot and i don't know why but my game has been super laggy since this update let me know in the comment section if you guys have been having similar issues and as you guys can see we have another portal fort that's blue we also have some epic rarity dual pistols right here that i mentioned earlier so that is the extent of the dusty diner in its full entirety i actually want to check this out real quick you know i was wondering if there was a Ooh, it lights up, dude. That's fancy. I was wondering if there was a chest inside of here, but there is not. It's the grand opening. Now, I don't think... I don't think it's finally open yet. I think this is just like the ribbon cutting ceremony is beginning, but it's not done just yet. I think they're going to be making some changes to it, but that is not all that's changed with this map. You may be wondering like, Garrett, how is there more, dudes? Fortnite always adds more. So moving on to the next location, we have Tilted Towers. And dudes, Tilted Towers was not destroyed, so don't get too upset. We've actually had some awesome additions and changes to Tilted Towers. Now, as many of you guys know, Tilted Towers has been under construction for quite some time. And finally, it's received the love it deserves with some kind of retail store here. Now, I don't know for fact if this is the grand opening and it is done because this is the same banner that was at the Dusty Diner, but let's go ahead and give this thing the full walkthrough it deserves. Now, I have noticed as you guys have me walking in here, there is an error, it seems like, with the lighting of the building. When you go in different locations, the lights turn off, but then when you go back in the other locations, the lights work. Like, I, I don't understand why that happens, but it does. Um, this building has the equivalent, if not more, chest than it did before with different displays all around so as you guys can see this little back room here if you guys looked in the front of this it's actually just an atk here 
um, with like a little display of what is being sold in the store where on the reverse side is just a storage area moving forward inside we have different locations for chests as we did before one here one back in that back room and continuing all throughout this pretty cool area this is a multi-leveled area so it's i think it's quad floors so there's a basement area you can go to to go ahead and get some shirts and some pants there's some great sales happening i wish i had some mercs to plug right now because this would be a perfect time for a great discounted sale i'm having but i i don't have any merch i've been thinking about doing merch for a long time just never gotten around to it this is the changing room here in fortnite going back upstairs as we've gone ahead and seen all of that we have the next floor available to us which is like the golf area of course we still have more chests we can loot we have one up here to replace the one that was there earlier when this thing was still being built it looks like all the chests that were here at one time have remained and they have added more it looks like it's a pretty good deal they've gone ahead and added more chests to the mix as you guys know there were a lot of um pallets before and i don't know if there's a wood equivalent here now but there is a lot of rooms you can go ahead and loot a lot of areas and chests as you guys may notice this whole building is completed it's all done there's nothing left to it to be added or built it looks like it's come full circle there is two trees in here to go ahead and make up for the wood you would be missing from the pallets but i know for a fact that those two trees do not make up for the amount of wood you could farm before this game is definitely changing it its direction for the better i believe in tweaking and making guns better or worse in my opinion people thought for some reason that the cube would be able to fit in this little location before it was finished it was a perfect little area for the cube to go ahead and insert itself into but of course that is not the case we have ourselves a beautiful 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 tilted towers now like i mentioned before dudes i don't think tilted towers is going anywhere for quite a while we have these beautiful new buildings i can't imagine dusty diner or the brand new retail area in tilted towers going anywhere anytime soon but let me know in season six do you think this area is gonna be destroyed you never know fortnite always has some secrets up its sleeves and without further ado i'll leave you guys with this we had recently decided who the winner was for the eee -E -E spray right here but never fear we have giveaways coming to the channel very soon as we have exclusive packs west sprays like crazy that you can go ahead and redeem very soon so without further ado i end my video here subscribe if you're new if you guys enjoyed it drop the video like I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Later, guys.